Hey guys, this is Scott from Church Tech Talks. Today I want to talk about a project we did recently that was pretty fun. Now, as you may know, I've, I've said it before, we recently went from being a church in a box, portable church, whatever you want to call it, to actually having a church building. And in doing so, we had to change some of the uh, some of the stuff we were doing. Obviously, what works great when you're portable isn't an ideal solution for permanent. So um, one of the things was our camera risers. Now, portable, what we had done was we built these boxes that kind of uh, they kind of uh, Russian nesting dolled themselves into each other, and they had casters on them, so we could really easily roll them to where they needed to be un Russian nesting doll them and then stack them on top of each other. That gave us a platform for the camera operator to sit on and a, a lower platform for the tripod to go on. That way the camera operator could sit up there and operate the camera. That was great. Um, when we got into the building, they were looking pretty haggard uh, and they took up a lot of room, so it wasn't ideal. Um, so recently what we did was um, instead of going and trying to find something uh, maybe professionally made, we decided just to sketch up something ourselves and uh, and hire, hire a welder to make it for us. So what we came up with, which um, to be fair, uh, it was not entirely our idea. Basically, you got a metal plate on the bottom that bolts into your, your floor. Uh, and then you've got this uh, four, I think it's a four by four piece of steel that just goes straight up to a metal plate. Now on top of that plate, what we did is we mounted uh, what is essentially a seat mount for a boat on it. And we just mounted a computer chair on top of that. Now it's awesome because it can swivel side to side, you can push it forward and backwards. And on that same riser, we have a ladder so the camera operator can get up and get down pretty quickly, pretty easily, non-distraction, put some anti-slip uh, grip tape on there. Um, and then for the camera, we kind of did the same thing. We have a plate on the bottom, bolts right into the ground, steel pipe goes up to the height we wanted. We did a steel plate on top. And then on top of that, what we did is we got this thing called a hi-hat. Uh, a hi-hat is essentially a short uh, tripod. Uh, it's made out of steel, it's solid as a rock, um, and you can put whatever uh, camera head you want on it. We have the, I think we have the 502s? I think they're the 502s. So we just took the 502s off the old tripods, put it on this hi-hat, mounted the hi-hat on that plate, and we got a great camera stand for our cameras. So it takes up a lot less room in our room. Uh, we were able to add a bunch more chairs in. Uh, it doesn't obstruct viewing too badly. And then the cables, we just ran cables up the sides of them, used some Velcro uh, to keep them nice and clean. But I wanna share it because it's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm really excited about this upgrade for us. And I think the big lesson here is that you can just sketch this stuff, get your local welder to kind of make you something that's custom fit for your needs. You don't have to go to BH photo video. You don't have to go to Sweetwater. You don't have to like call your, your local reps to try and get like this super specific custom solution that's already being made. Like you can just sketch it and find a local welder and probably do some of the stuff for way cheaper. So I'll, I'll share some of the links for that boat seat mount and the hi-hat, um, but so far, it seems solid as a rock. I think this is gonna be a good solution for us, so. All right, guys, take care.